Hi, Micro Punter here again. Look what I got here. This is the so-called Fold Scope. It is a single lens uh, microscope um, and uh, I got it, uh, I bought it over eBay, I put it together, I want to show you in this video how I put it together and then I want to comment a little bit on this um, as I put it together. I think uh, it's an interesting project, let's get started. Well, the fold scope was actually intended or is intended to be an extremely low cost uh, $1 microscope uh, so that the microscopes can become accessible to the wide uh, masses, so to say. Um, also, of course, to the general public. Um, surprisingly, it was not that cheap. I paid uh, on eBay um, five euros uh, for this fold scope and then I had to pay an additional five euros for shipping costs. And this was by far the cheapest one I could find. But you do get a little bit uh, for that money. I mean, the instructions were excellent, uh, um, in this case both in German and English, because I bought it um, over a German shop. Yeah, and that's uh, the fold scope itself, um, and there are a whole bunch of other accessories, uh, batteries. I first wondered why do I need batteries uh, for the fold scope, uh, but then I discovered that there was a little uh, magnifying glass included with uh, an included um, LED, which already contained batteries, uh, by the way. Um, yeah, and uh, this one can be attached um, also as a light source for projecting the image. First, I thought this was some kind of a CD, uh, but actually it's not. Um, it's some kind of a reference card uh, with drawings and, and a description of uh, water life. I wondered what this is. Um, it was magnetic, uh, but uh, there were several of them. And these are couplers. Um, I'm going to show you how um, they have to be uh, yeah, attached uh, to the fold scope. So first I was kind of afraid to separate them. I did not know that they were magnetic. I uh, thought they were kind of glued together, so I was afraid of breaking them. Um, but uh, yeah, they were actually holding together uh, like this. Yeah, a couple of stickers um, as well um, were um, included. Yeah, and uh, there was also a cotton swab for cleaning the lens. Yeah, and uh, you can see here that uh, the whole thing here was magnetic indeed. Yeah. So these are the couplers. Yeah, the instructions I think are pretty good. Uh, they're very detailed. I think uh, the drawings also very clear. I think a little bit small for my eyesight already. Um, and uh, what I kind of liked is is that the instructions uh, were extremely yeah uh, self-explanatory in that sense. Ah uh, yeah, here there were some more things here. Self-explanatory in the sense also that the the drawings um, alone sometimes were also enough to actually understand what was going on. But sometimes I did um, have a little bit of a problem though but uh, generally it worked uh, quite well and there were some quite interesting quotes here also written uh, on the fold scope uh, yeah yeah so this uh, basically I'm just uh, uh, going through right now this is basically where I had to insert one of these couplers everything held together without uh, glue if glue was necessary well uh, these were double-sided stickers uh, th that's basically uh, one place where I needed uh, them but otherwise um, everything uh, could be put together uh, quite easily so I think it's a pretty good project uh, also for clubs and for children for education for schools not only because it's a microscope which allows you to observe the environment but also because the kids kind of learn how to follow instructions and uh, um, a nice hour-long project and then kids can go out and, and, and um, collect some, some samples and the first big surprise that this paper microscope actually is not made of paper. Um, I tried to tear it um, and I couldn't tear it. This is actually plastic. Um, uh, this was really something that I was positively surprised by. Um, yeah, I was not able to rip it. Um, it was that uh, that uh, uh, strong because it's, it's, it's plastic, so it's also waterproof. Um, this is something that I kind of uh, like as well and uh, significantly more durable. So concerning the quality, honestly, it's not, nothing I can really say. Um, quite, uh, I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy about that. Well, later on, I'm gonna show you anyway how um, I take pictures. Yeah, this is the lens. I thought that at the beginning that they, they forgot to include the lens until I saw that it was actually also connected and there, also over a magnet. It's pretty tiny. I mean, it's a single lens microscope, just like the Leeuwenhoek microscope is, um, was. Um, yeah, and this is a double-sided sticker. You have to be careful of when removing it that the, the glue, the sticky side, also goes uh, off with it. Um, then you have to connect it not only magnetically but also um, um, using using the sticker. So I was kind of a little bit uh, worried about uh, getting it uh, uh, properly centered here. Um, yeah, so it's uh, both uh, held. The lens is held in place both by the magnet and also by this double-sided uh, tape. You have to peel off, yeah, and uh, then it's double-sided, and then. This one connects. The instructions are very clear into which direction you have to insert uh, the lens. Uh, there's only one good way anyway how it fits together. So yeah, 
And uh, I was actually, while I was uh, doing the whole thing, I was not actually fully aware of what actually the parts are supposed to do. Especially this thing here caused a little bit of a confusion. I simply followed the instructions, but this is actually the focusing uh, part. And uh, you basically had, I had to fold it or roll it in like this and this part is thicker on one side and thinner on the other side and uh, when you push it in or pull it out further this changes the distance of the lens to the specimen and uh, this is basically the focusing uh, mechanism yeah you see it's uh, actually conical it's uh, thicker on one end and thinner um, on the other end yeah and uh, you have to insert this uh, like this um, and it, it kind of, as you move it uh, left and right, it lifts the lens away from from the specimen because of the changing thickness. Yeah. yeah. So, and you have to lift up those little flaps here on the edge as well to prevent the whole thing from sliding out. It's kind of interesting. The the whole fold scope actually ha um, allows you to move the slide in three dimensions: x, y, and z direction as well. Z being, of course, uh, the focus. Yeah. To insert uh, this here through the slits uh, and uh, yeah uh, what I also want to say is that of course a single lens microscope like this um, you cannot expect uh, um, very high image quality I mean so it is not a replacement of a real amateur microscope it doesn't want to be uh, it doesn't have to be either um, and uh, I would say that uh, it's still an interesting project and I can imagine that uh, this is actually pretty nice and good gifts for si even for science interested adults if you uh, want to give a little pre birthday present to someone and you don't really know what it, uh, it should be uh, then you just uh, give him or her a fold scope uh, yeah, it's because it's already a classic so to say uh, and uh, um, for people especially who already have everything <laughs> um, so I would say it's, that's in that sense it's a nice a nice gadget um, to have as well but because I already have my microscopes I'm, I'm not uh, gonna be using this now to do nature observation I mean I'm just gonna yeah uh, but uh, one of the reasons why I was interested is, is of course because uh, it's a, it's a well-known thing and also I wanted to know a little bit is um, how is it actually to look at a specimen through a single lens um, and uh, what did actually uh, what did the early microscopists who used single lens microscopes and who made their own lenses what did they, they actually see and to my big surprise I'm going to show you later yes it is possible to see bacteria um, I've got a, uh, a stained um, slide with uh, bacteria on it so the contrast is pretty good and it's a China microscope, by the way, the fold scope is a China microscope, I figured out, <laughs> made in China. Um, yeah, um, and those bacteria can be, uh, can be seen in, as well, okay? Yeah, so this one here kind of snaps closed. Yeah, it snaps closed um, and uh, yeah, it's basically finished. Um, and this is how it looks like. Uh, um, and you have to look at the specimen with the blue side uh, towards you. So this is the side which points away. It's the side that's sh supposed to point towards the eye. Yeah, and it's at the back side. So now it's time to make a specimen slide. Okay, now the specimen slide, yeah, there is some uh, tape supplied. Um, the specimen slide has to be made like this. So now I did is the following, I put some hair in it. And there is this tape on both sides, okay. Um, and uh, this is then uh, the thing that um, has to go um, yeah, into, um, into the microscope um, and you have to also include a, a spacer um, yeah, on the top on one side, uh, not on top and bottom but it says you have to include it on one side and then the whole thing is, is inserted um, and then uh, you can look um, at, at it and uh, yeah it's here because here is easy to see. And uh, one of the things that I did not know is that you can actually also use the flashlight and the lamp for projecting the image um, on, yeah, on the wall, for example. Yeah, so you have to align everything. Yeah, and this is basically how you're moving it uh, back and forth. Yeah, okay, uh, so I wanted to activate now the little uh, flashlight that was included. I had to remove this little piece of paper here, which was insulating the batteries. And there are two levels, uh, uh, low intensity and also high intensity. And uh, this one can be attached using the magnet uh, to one side of the lens and this kind of projects then the image um, on, on the wall. You can use it also as a, as a small flashlight. Yeah, and this is uh, how it looks like when you project it um, on the wall. And as a matter of fact, they have included several of these uh, other spaces, uh, magnet, uh, magnets as well, so that you can use also the flashlight of your mobile phone um, as a, a projecting light source. Yeah, here, that's here, that's my hair. 
yeah, you can see it's it's a little bit difficult actually. I had to, um, of course, center the slide as well at the same time. I had to find the right focus and the right distance. But it, uh, yeah, it did did kind of work. Um, it's a little bit fuzzy because of the the plastic or, um, of the slide because it's tape. Yeah. This is how it looks like. Uh, you can see on on the on the left side. This is the the light the lamp that was uh, provided. And then it's uh, projected um, on on the wall. These are now pictures of uh, permanent slides that I had at home and I held them in front of the fold scope and then I tried to take a picture using my mobile phone and uh, there are various uh, plant uh, tissues of course. Uh, this here is uh, an onion uh, from an onion skin uh, and uh, yeah you can see that uh, the image is quite blurry on the edges just like uh, expected. I also cropped away um, some of the parts uh, because of course uh, the hole is uh, quite small. Um, yeah these are bacteria here okay those little dots uh, these are the individually stained bacteria as I promised so you can see them um, yeah not uh, quite uh, as uh, clear um, as one would hope but still it is possible and yeah that's the head of a dog flea and I think uh, with that uh, I think I'm gonna call it uh, quits uh, for for now Okay, well, so what is my verdict here? Well, first of all, um, I was a little bit surprised uh, by the high quality of this device here, um, especially the fact that it's made of uh, really durable plastic and not paper is really something that I liked a lot. Of course, the fold scope is not meant uh, to replace a real microscope uh, real in quotation marks it is a real single lens microscope of course um, but uh, I would say that it is indeed a very interesting project especially for children uh, for example who uh, wants to have an afternoon project uh, and uh, putting it together is also has an educational value of course um, I think uh, there is one pity and that pity is is that uh, unfortunately it is not possible to use uh, regular slides on here because they won't fit uh, and also the distances don't uh, quite work um, so this is a little bit unfortunate uh, but I would say uh, one of the things that I really like here is, is it kind of keeps a little bit the spirit of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek um, alive the guy who first uh, discovered bacteria and other microorganisms with his homemade single lens microscope and with a full scope we kind of get a little bit the feeling of what he saw already back in the 17th century so in that sense I think uh, it's definitely a nice uh, a nice a nice product I wish you all the the best happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time bye bye